Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to continue our Android tutorials by going into this activity main XML file. And we've been in here already, however, it's just been in the graphical layout view. And you can also see it as the XML file itself. And this might be really helpful, especially to those of you who are familiar with the XML. So if we click on this right down here, this activity main.xml, it's going to open up this file like any other text file you'd be used to. And just like any other XML file, you see opening tags, closing tags, and just general XML stuff. However, inside of here, you're also getting um, these Android attributes here, this Android colon, and then ID equals, and then you're giving this an ID. So this at, I, I, at plus ID slash button one is basically saying you're registering this button number one. And you'll notice some of the other tags here are layout underscore width, layout underscore height, uh, layout underscore below. And so you can imagine what some of these mean to the point where you could experiment and change some of these. So layout underscore height is set to wrap content. So this is going to wrap the content that it uh, surrounds. And that is, in this case, the text, the text that says, press me. So let's say we wanted to delete, delete this and we wanted to have this be something else. One of the things we could say here is we could say uh, layout with fill parent. And now this is going to fill the entire space that's the parent. If we click back to our graphical layout, you can see our button now spans the entire width instead of just wrapping the words press me. We'll get into a little bit more about all of these options that we can have in here for everything else in the future. But right now, just know that this is the kind of attributes you pass into these different elements here, and you can control them that way. In fact, we even have a layout margin top with a 24 dp. So that's the space above this button. And you see the text here that says press me. Well, if you remember when we're looking on our graphical layout from the last video, uh, and you can even see it here. These are underlined with yellow uh, dots and it has a little exclamation point. And if you hover over this, it says hard-coded string. Um, well, what, what does that mean? Well, the hard-coded string is that in our XML, we're physically writing our string here. Uh, there's a way you want to do this. So to do this, I'm gonna cut this out and then I'm going to go to our document structure and then you'll notice inside of your res file is this values folder and then strings. I'm going to click on strings to open this folder and you'll see this. There's also this menu, which is the resources menu. And you can also view this as an XML file as well. So if you're always more comfortable with XML, you can have this just edit in XML and it's going to be perfect. So we want to have the string and I'm just going to write this in XML and we're going to have the name. The name is going to equal uh, what we want it to reference by. And keep in mind, this is lowercase, no spaces. So you're going to use underscores whenever you have a space, keep everything lowercase. And we're just going to call this level greeting. And I'm going to close this out. And then inside of here, I'm going to paste our hello level up tuts. And so I'm going to make sure I save this document. You'll know it's saved when the asterisk has gone up here. And now let's click back into our activity main. So right here where we had our Android text, what you can do is you can do the at sign, and then you're going to type string, and then you're going to do a forward slash. And then now we want the name of the string that we just had. So we said level underscore greeting. If we save this, Notice how not only this error goes away, but if we go back to our graphical layout, it still says hello level up tuts, which is exactly what we had before. So what this is doing is this is referencing the strings saved in our, our preset string file. And so this is a better way to do this than to just have your strings in your XML. So it's a best practice in Android that when you have strings that you're using, you'd have them saved into the strings XML because if you want to use them more than once or you're going to use them uh, again, you, you don't want to have to have it change multiple times. You're going to want to use this variable. So here you can use string and then this is your variable name. Well, now in the next video, we're going to do some basic uh, Java stuff. And like I said, we're not going to be really in depth 
uh, really high-level Java training in this course, but I will be going over the basics for anyone not familiar with Java. And whenever you get to one of those videos, if you know Java already, just feel free to skip it because I'm going to make sure that uh, the videos I do with just Java training are going to be pretty much just Java, and and then you know in later videos we'll bring it into the Android world. So uh, let's get this press me, and we're going to change this to be another string as well. So we're going to do add string. And here I'm just going to make a name. Uh, actually, I'm going to shorten that to btn underscore one. I'm going to save this. And if you come to our graphical layout, uh, you see it says at string btn one. It's because it cannot resolve this resource. It's giving you this error. So that's because we haven't defined the string yet. Let's create the string through the resources menu this time. And I'm going to click add right here. And it's going to ask what I want to add. There's all sorts of stuff, but we're going to pick string. Click OK. And uh, uh, my mouse is being weird right now. Okay, and then here we have a name and a value. The value is going to be press me, and the name is going to be btn underscore one. Now we just save this file, come back here, and we see that our button now again says press me. Perfect. So now we've gotten a little bit into the XML. You have a, a graphical layout here, and you have what is the makings of your first app. In fact, if you were to click this play button right here, it's going to run your app inside of your emulator like you were before. Um, if we just give it a second here, I think I, uh, yep, okay, it says it's launching level up tuts here in the bottom right. Um, if it doesn't appear to be doing anything or something, make sure that it in this bottom right that you see some sort of activity. Um, so I see this launching level up and then this council stuff comes up. So here we now have our button. This is press me, it's full full width. Uh, perfect. So this is our, our app in the making. Cool. Well as always, if you have any questions, feel free to hit us up at Level Up Tuts on Twitter or in the comments or on Facebook or just anything. Uh, let us know what you're thinking. Thanks a lot for watching and this is Scott, bye.